people? It's a terrific question. I don't know exactly how to answer. Maybe Charlie will think of it while I'm stumbling around. But I really, I think I can do that quite well. But I don't know of any way to give somebody else a set of questions to ask, or you know, uh, I don't know how to tell. I don't know how to tell someone else how to select uh, managers uh, using those criteria do they love the business or do they love the money uh, it's very very important I mean it's crucial uh, because it well we see it all the time I mean you, you you've got people around who love the money and and, and uh, you see them in public companies and doing things that you know, we wouldn't want to have associated with us and on the other hand if they love the business and we, we tell you know I'll tell an owner this I will say to him you built this business lovingly for 50 years, or your, and, and maybe your parents before you, maybe even your grandparents. One of these businesses we're buying is fourth generation. And the clincher, in fact, I used it with Jack Ringwald back in 1967. I, I said to Jack, who would build it over a long period of time, do you want to sell this, you know, you want to dispose of this, the most, you know, your creation, your painting, uh, or do you want some 26-year-old trust officer to do it the day after you die? And the thought, of who was going to hand, handle this masterpiece, which he'd created himself, was important to him. And I tell him, you know, if they want to put it in our museum, you know, we will make sure, A, it doesn't get resold, that it gets the proper respect, and that you can keep painting it. You know, we won't come in and tell you to use reds instead of yellows or anything like that. So even though it's a masterpiece now, you can keep, you can keep adding to it. So we like to think that we're the Metropolitan Museum of Businesses and that we can get... Uh, really outstanding creations uh, to reside in our museum, but it, we've got to deliver the kind of museum to these, to these painters of businesses, in effect, uh, that we would want if we were doing the same sort of thing. To some people, that doesn't mean a damn thing. I mean, all they want to do is auction their business, you know, and, and they, you know, and they probably cheat on their figures a little in the last year or two before they sell it to dress it up, and they do all kinds of things. And they employ some investment banker who pretends that, you know, he's getting bids from other people to jack it up some more. And all, it's, you know, that's standard procedure for a lot of people. We have no interest in buying in with them at any price because we don't want to be on the other side of the table, you know, and for, for the rest of our lives with somebody that's going to do that. If somebody loves their business, and I love Berkshire, I mean, you, you create something over a period of time. It, 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 it means something to you. I mean, you know, some people get it out of how they decorate their home or some people get it out of, you know, all kinds of different things, their golf game or whatever. But some of us get it out of building a business. And it has to be enormously important what kind of a home it finds. And there comes a time in many situations for estate taxes or because the kids don't get along or whatever the hell it may be, why people need to do something with that business. But they don't, they don't, they don't want it auctioned off. And, and we get we have a good home for that. I, I think I can tell pretty well what people's motivations are uh, when they come in uh, with a business. And so far, we've we've batted pretty well. We've made mistakes. There's no question about that. But but uh, in a sense, I think they've gotten fewer over over the years. And we have our disappointments with people have been very very few. We've been wrong about the economics of the business sometimes. But that's our mistake, not theirs. Uh, we've, we've seldom been wrong about the people. And I wish I could give you a checklist that you could go down and you could say, well, this guy is, loves the money, so he's going to be gone in six months. And this one loves the business, so he's, as long as I leave him alone to do his job and appreciate what he does, and be fair with him, that he's going to stay around here as long as he can. Uh, uh, Charlie, have you got any thoughts on how you separate these people out? I think our culture is very old-fashioned. In other words, I, I think it's Ben Franklin and Andrew Carnegie, and it, it's very old-fashioned. And what I think is amazing about Berkshire is how well these very old-fashioned ideas still work. Can you imagine Andrew Carnegie calling in a compensation consultant or? <laughs> An investment banker to tell him whether he should buy another steel mill or no, I... we don't get imitated much 
I mean, we're imitating, you know, the behavior of a period that has been gone for a long time, but uh, I, I don't see a lot of the businesses we buy uh, are kind of cranky like us and old-fashioned. And uh, I they're, hope we they're, continue they're, it that way. They're sitting out there, Charlie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, but I, I think the businesses do have standards. C's has standards. Uh, it just it has its own personality, but it's but maintaining standards is a huge part of it. Charlie hit on one thing in terms of uh, the idea of asking investment bankers or somebody to evaluate the businesses you're going to buy. Or, I mean that that strikes us as idiocy. If you don't know enough to, about a business to decide whether to buy it yourself, you better forget it. You know, it, uh, it, uh, it is not it does not make sense. You bring in somebody who's going to get a very large check if you buy it and, and a very small check if you don't. Uh, that, that displays a faith in human nature that would strain Charlie and me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a key point what you raise. And, and frankly, if I think there's anything we're good at, I think we're pretty good at, 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 at uh, what you're talking about there. It's an important part of capital allocation because we do not, we are not in a position to manage the businesses ourselves. And we want management as well as the business and and we've gotten it and we've gotten it in spades from people that have that stay on and done a terrific job for us and um, uh, it makes life a lot easier too uh, let's go to number one again